to school at night. I went back to school in 2004 to Mass College of Art um, and ended up in the sculpture department, uh, majored in sculpture. And But I had kind of a more, less, less of a 3D sculpture in the round kind of aesthetic than I had more of a room installation aesthetic that was based on um, using a lot of lighting that was reminiscent of old nightclub lighting. So I would like go and buy lights that were like strobe lights or they were like, you know, the red sirens or they were like pin spots or they were whatever. And I would set up installations combined with video and sometimes audio that were sort of evocative of um, what I thought was the end of an era, I think. Like they tended to have very kind of funereal kind of um, components to them. Um, and so it was sort of about the death of disco and the death of nightclubbing as I understood it. Um, so I, had, I was doing a lot of that kind of work at school and I met another sculpture major named T.T. Uh, T. Baum. And he, um, well, do you know T.T., right? Yeah. T.T. T. moved to San Francisco a few years back, but before he did, he said, you should meet up with the guys from Foxy Action Group because he knew I still had a lot of interest in dance music. And I still had the interest in it while I was, all those years I was at Mass Art. Um, I was still listening to things and buying some things. I wasn't as deeply invested in it as I was when I was DJing, but I, um, I was still listening to a lot, and TT knew that, so he said, you should talk to the guys at Foxy. So I went and found the event on Facebook um, at Zuzu, and I forget what year, this must have been 2010. Um, and I went to my first one, didn't know anybody, introduced myself to a few people, and then kept going back. And through that, started to make more connections um, on Facebook with people who had nights, like Brent at Fur and Gold, and Craig McNeil and Blythe Russo from Videodrome Discotheque. And I also got reacquainted with Chris Ewan from Heroes, um, and of course from Man Ray back in the day. And um, so through, and, and Chris was the one that gave me my first public, my first real public sort of playing opportunity um, in September of, God, was it 2010 or 2011? It must have been 2011 by then. <clears throat> yeah, because it was late 2010 when I started going out to Foxy and places like that. And um, September of 2011 was my first public playing, and it was at River Gods in Cambridge, and it was on a Monday night, because Chris ran a, ran a night called, uh, runs a night called Weekly Wax, um, which despite the title, it does not require playing vinyl records, it's just, that's just always been the name. Um, so I got to play there for a non-dance crowd audience, it was really just, um, it's a restaurant, very cool restaurant, good food. And um, I got to just play, I, I conceived it as a birthday celebration for me, but also as a chance to play a lot of the genre called morning music, which um, I had to sort of be in my bonnet about saying, like, does anybody even know what morning music is anymore? I mean, I, I've since come to realize that I know a lot of people who obviously still know what it is, but does a larger audience even under, know what that genre is anymore? Um, so I programmed a night of primarily morning type music um, and just played it, and it was it was fun. I was a nervous wreck considering that there wasn't I wasn't going to be responsible for a dance floor or anything. It was really just playing lounge music, um, which the morning music was kind of ideally suited for because I I think it's hard to get people to dance to that kind of music now because a lot of it's very slow. A lot of it's very melodic, a lot of it's very pretty, a lot of it's very melodramatic in terms of lyrics and things like that. Um, so I played a night of that and a lot of friends came to listen. And I felt a lot of support right away from a lot of these relatively new found friends and contacts. So it led me to think, well, maybe there is something in this and maybe I can do something after that. 